Hi guys, Crash Brown back again. Hope you're having a fantastic day or night, depending on where you live. My lighting's really bad. I'm not sure why. I'm just having issues with my lighting. So if that looks a bit funny, I'm really sorry. Um, but I did see this video a few days ago and I've wanted to make a video on it, but it's a bit of a longer video, which can be a little bit tricky when I've got children running around the house. Um, so I am going to do this in two parts. Um, but yeah, I really wanted to talk about it because I've seen little clips here and there and I'm quite opinionated. I have to be doing what I do and making videos um, about things like this. You have to be kind of opinionated. So I do have some opinions um, and I want to kind of watch a video and go over it with you guys. But before we do that, can I ask you, if you're not subscribed to the channel yet and you do enjoy this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. Your support means the absolute world to me and I appreciate it. We also have channel memberships, which is a fantastic way to support the channel. But whichever way you choose to support the channel, just know that it means the absolute world to me and I appreciate you. All right, guys, let's jump into it. I'm sure this is going to be a frustrating one. Although, aren't they all? This is Jojo. She's going to be in the video for a minute because she wants to be and why not? All right, let's watch it. We have no barriers today. So we can, we can pick what no we barriers. want to pick. Who doesn't have barriers? Women doesn't, don't have barriers? I'm, women, yeah. What, what's we stopping have no you? you can do whatever you want. Uh, I can you? or you can. What's stopping you? <laughs> all these people. There are no barriers. The only the only barriers that women have that I can even think of at the moment is the transgender stuff where men are pretending to be women and taking the rights off women, um, competing in sports against women. Like literally the only barriers that we face are the men trying to cosplay as us. <laughs> This is going to be interesting. Yeah. Oh my here we go. Hi, welcome everybody. I'm Liz Landers. I'm Vice News' chief political correspondent, and we are here today to talk about some of the biggest issues dividing women across the country. In other words, we're here to talk about feminism. Yay. First, I just want to say we know we can't represent everybody's views, but we did try our best to bring together a diverse group of women today. In today's polarized world. Okay, I'm sorry. That's a man. This is what I mean. The only thing that we are facing as women that is kind of like oppressing us, as it were, is this. Is men pretending to be women, coming into women's spaces, taking opportunities off women. Like, my point is proven immediately when you see a man in a bloody dress. I'm pretty what was that um the other name Eli Elick or something who went on Twitter and said that he was okay to send um HRT hormone replacement therapy pills and whatever it is um to minors if they couldn't get it through their doctor I'll put the the tweet on the screen if I can find it um because I can't think of it off the top of my head but I, I do know that he's an awful person All right, so I'm editing right now, but while I was looking for the screenshots of the Instagram post that ended up being not tweets, um, I found a lot of stuff about this bloke um, that isn't fantastic. He's had a lot of allegations um, with people saying that he R-worded them. Some really, really gruesome details have come out, and there was some stuff involving minors. So I've actually decided to cut anything that he says um, because I don't want to give a platform to somebody like that. You're not missing out on much. If you want to go and watch the full video, I will link that in the description down below. But I have made the decision that I don't want to give a platform to someone like this. Um, so literally anything this person says um, kind of from here on out, I'm going to be editing out. So I just thought I'd let you guys know. Uh, I mean as long as the human race exists, feminism, feminism will never be dead. There's something that we're really going to have to strive and work, work towards um, to make sure that there's equality. So feminism is not dead. I don't know that. I'm going to be pausing this all, like just constantly because I just have so much to say about this kind of thing, right? Like, we shouldn't want equality. We shouldn't want to be men. And, and this is the thing. Men and women are different. 
but that's such a beautiful thing that's what makes the world so amazing like where women struggle men make up in those areas and vice versa and i i think it's crazy that women want to be the same as men these days like why would you want to be i'm a woman i've given birth to children that's amazing and of course a man had to be involved to make that child absolutely i'm not saying that but i'm just like the fact that my body has the ability to create life that's amazing the fact that i'm more emotional like that's amazing there are so many parts of being a woman that are a really really positive fantastic thing and things that i really love i love that i'm a woman and i love that i can do this stuff that it can die as long as there's power and oppression there will be people fighting for equity and um, until that oppression goes away feminism is alive and well i think feminism um, isn't actually about equality it's about equality when it benefits us yep i think feminism I love Pearl. I love Pearl so much. I think her name's Pearl. Like, I, I just, I've seen some of her YouTube videos. Um, and her name is Pearly Things or something like that. Um, but I, I love her. I, I feel like these days it's so rare to, to see a woman who's actual, actually logical and actually has common sense. Like, everything is just so crazy these days and the majority of women are going to agree with some of these people like that well we're so oppressed and we need to fight for equality like and it's so great to see women who kind of feel the same as me because sometimes i feel like i i'm what's the saying i feel like i'm pushing shit uphill like i just feel like i'm i'm fighting against this way of being that i i don't think is benefiting men or women and it can feel quite lonely and it can feel quite overwhelming it's really about women wanting special oh. privileges oh. and treatment yep at the expense oh. of men often oh. yep and i think it's alive and well sadly yep i love you i think feminism is also alive and well um there are different kinds of feminism right like that is obvious um uh, is it <laughs> and i for me, as, as a womanist, as a black feminist, right, as, as a womanist, who's really thinking about human rights, dignity, right, equity, right. As long as that's not that need isn't met, we're still gonna keep fighting. I'd say it's alive and well. I'd say that it's also very nuanced, and I think what it looks like is gonna differ depending on where you are in the world. From is that right, sir? <laughs> I'm sorry. I know that you're supposed to accept that this man is a woman because he's got a red dress on i know that i'm supposed to accept that but uh, i just it rubs me the wrong way and i it feels so weird to see a clear like he's not passing at all that is a man in a dress and he's talking about feminism like is this not like okay let's talk about feminism the feminists they hate mansplaining right mansplaining is a big problem i have a man explaining to me whether feminism is alive and what it means like are you not mansplaining i just see it as a lens which isn't necessarily antagonistic or uh protagonistic it's just a useful tool Similar to what Pearl just said, Sydney. I find that a lot of feminist ideology and thought today feels more of like a supremacist movement rather than something that is supposed to be advancing the goals of equality. I yeah. don't think that we can really term what's going on as feminism because it looks so different to, I think, the earlier feminist yeah. movements. So in that way i would say it's taken its last breaths of life it's dying there, there was a time that women were treated kind of lesser than it's been a long 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 time since that's been the case but i i do think there was a time where there was a need for it where women were seen as lesser than they were seen as property um and that's awful i do think there was a time where feminism it served a it served a purpose right I, I do think there was was a time where it was needed and you know that that's a whole other story um i could go into that but we do not have the time for that um but yeah i do think there was a time where it was maybe needed in some areas but these days women have way more of an advantage than men do so to keep fighting against oppression when you're in fact the ones that are oppressing men more than anything else like you this is not about equality anymore it's about superiority and this is where i get i get really annoyed because i don't believe for a second that you guys don't see what's going on in the world you don't see that men are treated terribly that they have a higher 
murder rate. They barely get custody of their children. They Sometimes they can't even see their children because the mothers made up false allegations because women are believed more than men. Men are the victims of violent crimes. They get murdered more. Like, this is the thing. I, there's no way that you don't see that this is the case. And you're still saying that you're oppressed because you believe that you should make more money than a man even though the man does more hours than you because feminism right like it has not been about equality for a very long time men and women have been equal for a very long time for as long as i've been alive um i i think men and women are treated equally i've never been treated lesser than because i'm a woman sometimes i feel like i get a lot of privileges because i'm a woman yeah i definitely think um it's getting more and more radicalized for sure so it's it's definitely still alive i think i'll preface and say that i don't know so much about modern western feminism and there might be a lot of terms that i don't know like political jargon and stuff but I believe in the advancement of women, whoever considers themselves a woman. Uh, I think whoever considers themselves a woman. Society. So it's deeply rooted that um, feminism has always existed. I, I think America's a little obsessed with themselves and it's like always feminism is rooted in America. And like, oh, white women started it. And it's kind of offensive because for thousands of years, women have been dying for their rights. And men haven't. Men haven't been dying for their rights. Who goes to war? Women or men? Like, some women do go to war. I get it. But primarily men. Men were the ones that were getting drafted to go to war to fight for their rights. Have there been some women who have died for their rights? I'm sure. But when I think of the term dying for their rights, I think of men going to war. Men being drafted. Women didn't get drafted. Like, and, and I think this is one of the main problems with like modern day feminism where it's all about oh poor us we're so oppressed it's it's very selfish it's very self-centered like people die for their rights right and the same women put men down and they say that men are these horrible horrible people and we're the victims and we deserve everything we deserve to be paid more than men for doing less hours we deserve all this magical stuff and men are the worst people ever but men for centuries have been the ones to go off to war they've been the ones to fight for their rights for their families right black women specifically uh when you talk about feminism yeah the mainstream first thing you think about is a certain type of feminism that tends to exclude still even today even with intersectional fem feminism exclude um african-american women oh. it's always kind of done that and also like, upper middle class white women has predominantly been the face of what we quote unquote consider feminism I is it why do we have to do this like you're there to talk about feminism and this is the thing it, it's a contest to see who's more oppressed i think feminism is attempting to say okay the first thing we agree on is that there are barriers and friction to what I need and what I want based on the fact that I'm a woman. What it ignores is that, and what privilege is, is that you may not have to think that being a woman and being a black woman and being a black woman who has a disability, for example, impacts you further. You have more barriers, you have more friction, you are less able to get what you want. You're undervalued in a way that's like, okay, well, you know, that's life. That's what I mean by equity and that we're able to, equity. without friction, all get the same needs met. Yeah. Um, yep. Yeah, see, see, and I, this is the thing, right? People have hurdles. Every single man, woman, and child on the face of the planet has friction. They have hurdles. Like, and this, this is what I mean by feminism being so self-centered and so selfish. Every single person has barriers. Men have barriers that women don't even have to consider, don't even have to think about because it's not something that women have to deal with. Men have different struggles, absolutely, but everybody has their struggles. And like immediately we see that it has exactly what I said. It's become a competition to see who's the most oppressed. Well, uh, well, yeah, you're a woman and you're oppressed, but I'm a black woman, so I'm more oppressed. Well, yeah, you're a black woman who's oppressed, but I'm a disabled black woman who's oppressed. Like, can we just say, hey, life's hard. Everybody's got struggles. Let's do our best to be good people while we're on this earth. Let's do our best to help those around us and to show love, to show compassion. Like, but it's not about, that's not what it is at all with these people. Life's hard for everybody. See, I just 
disagree with that. I think life is easy. I'll get the same needs met. Yeah. Um, yep. Yeah, see, I disagree with that. I think life is easier if you're a girl. Yeah. Um, actually, yeah, I think, I think there's a lot of benefits um, that men don't have. Yeah. I'm, I'm not going to speak anything to race. I'm just talking about gender specifically it's usually like an excuse like honestly I think as a girl you have equal opportunity in the world I think there's benefits like for example we have quotas for women in specific jobs yeah. that are given to us that aren't given to men so yeah I would I would say it's easier being a girl That's just kind of from a uh, viewpoint over here though uh, it seems there's a lot of privilege pretty privilege in what you're saying and mm. that you're white and you present do you think I'm pretty thank you I think <laughs> that you present in a way that beauty standards have accepted and so they call me ugly on the internet all the time they, they be roasting me daily I swear to God. I don't mean to say I think you're gorge. I just mean that there are a certain value that we give to certain bodies. I mean, look. See, and now it's um, the fat phobia. Well, you're pretty, so I have more oppressed. Like, oh my God. This is, you know, when, like, I think this is primarily like a, a girl thing. But you know when you, you're like a teenager and you hate a girl because she's prettier than you? And, like, this, it, girls do this all the time. I, did, like, Obviously, I was jealous of people, but I wasn't really like this. I wasn't like a rumor starter. But I know so many girls who would start rumors about, like, the pretty girl because they hated her because she was pretty. And is this not what this reeks of? If, if you don't like how you look, and look, I'm not talking about the fact that this woman has no legs. That cannot be helped. But if you don't like the way you look, do something about it. Don't, like, crucify other women because they're pretty and you're not. Oh, everyone's so oppressed. I'm so oppressed. You're so oppressed. We're all so oppressed. Oh, is that right? Are you mansplaining, sir? Like, shut up. God, it annoys me. I'm so annoyed that there are two men on this, like, panel of women. Like, you shouldn't... This is what pisses me off. Why are women complaining about everything? Like, things that just make no sense. Everyone's oppressed. Like, you're privileged. Blah, 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 blah. All they do is complain about being oppressed. But then you're going to let men pretend to be women and speak for women, but not complain about that. I am so, and I'm not one to get offended. I am so offended that this man, and I'm sorry, but he's a man. I'm sorry that this, I'm so offended that this man is sitting there. Look at the look on his face. Like, mm, explaining to a woman how it is to be a woman. What do you know about being a woman? We have no barriers today. Yeah. So we can, we can Who pick has what no we barriers? want to pick. It doesn't have barriers. Women don't, don't have barriers? I'm, women, yeah. yeah. What, what's we stopping have no you? Barriers. You can do whatever you want. Uh, what's I stopping can you? or you can? What's stopping you? <laughs> As a woman, as a woman. As a woman. As a woman, See, as a woman. That ignores a lot that I'm a woman with a disability. So mm -hmm. there's a lot stopping me that you don't have to think about. Well, as I said before, I'm about. speaking about women. I'm not, yeah. I'm not. As a, you're speaking for yourself. You're speaking as, a, as an able-bodied able -bodied bodied woman. woman. I, I that understand. Is white. Of, course, white. Of, course, of course there's going to be other barriers if you're disabled, I'm sure. Well, like, I'm, I'm not, I'm not. Because of this competition to be who's more oppressed, the women who were supposed to be talking about women and feminism and we love women we're uplifting women are shooting down the other women because that woman disagrees with you like it, it's it's so stupid it is so stupid you're disabled tough luck I, and i know that sounds so harsh and i really don't mean it to sound harsh but you're you're disabled tough luck that sucks i have my own problems i have health conditions i have struggles that that disabled woman doesn't have pearl has struggles that that disabled woman doesn't have i get that you're disabled and that sucks but it's just another barrier everybody has different barriers like you can't get mad at her because she's not considering your disability because you're not there to talk about you and this is what i mean about it being so selfish and so self-centered she can't believe that pearl is not talking specifically about her this is supposed to be about feminism in general not about that one woman with no legs i'm not i'm talking about as a woman yeah it's the industries that women pick there, uh, let's talk there's, about there's it. a pay gap but it's because women don't want to do the hardest industries yeah I don't think it's that simple. I think, like, I think that's just an oversimplification. I think the fact of the matter is that women structure their lives differently to men. Men don't give birth. Men don't have have to carry pregnancies. Men don't have to be the primary caregiver most of the time. Women also don't hold jobs for as long as men do. They often yeah. will stop and start. They'll go back into work. They'll take time off. They'll take part-time jobs. The way that men work and women work are astronomically different. And yeah. to try to say that they're comparable is, is where this issue comes from. They're not comparable. This is why I love Sydney Watson. Like, 
I agree wholeheartedly with absolutely everything she just said. And the thing is, that's that's exactly why the gender pay gap exists. And this is why we can't, women can't want equality with men. Men can't want equality with women because we are so different in absolutely every aspect of life we are so different and when you try to compare it things like the gender pay gap which is something that feminists feminists and the left they hold on to that all the time that's their like big you know gotcha card but you can't compare the two because they're so different and this is where there is this massive massive divide with men and women at the moment and this is why women shouldn't want to be men. Men shouldn't want to be women. Men work different jobs. They work more hours. Like, just accept that. Why are we pretending that women and men have the same jobs? They work the same amount of hours. Like, yes, there are women who structure their entire lives around a career. They never have kids. They never take time off. There are also men who go on paternity leave who end up being the primary caregiver. Yes, there are exceptions to the rule, but more often than not, women have babies. They, they want to be at home with the baby. They have maternity leave. They take more time off. They work less hours. They work like they work jobs that aren't as hard as men like how often do you see women wanting to go down the mines how often do you see women plumbers like they are not the same i am so sick of hearing about the gender pay gap because anybody with half a brain cell knows that yes there is a pay gap but it's not because of sexism it's because of everything i just discussed to race because 60 percent of women have never asked for a raise so how can you complain about your pay why, why, are, they, why are they not asking wait, what happens when women ask for a raise so, sorry I just, sure. I've, been, yes. I've been wanting to say something but i want to be respectful of, yeah. i don't i don't want to interrupt people and i want to let them finish their thoughts jump in just but you know it's just, uh, it is a very privileged label right to be able to say that you're feminist right, right? and i say that because i come from a working class background of of Dominican immigrant parents. My mother would not necessarily identify as a feminist. I look to my mother and I do think of her as a feminist. A lot of my ideas and my empowerment comes from seeing her like survive and put food on the table. When I'm thinking about feminism, I'm always thinking about who's not part of the conversation. What are the barriers? How do we think about equity? How do we think about self-empowerment and agency and having a voice, right, and having choice? in thinking about our basic human rights, education, access to health, uh, homes, like having bread, having food, and those things are very important, right? And they're at the crux, right, about of what a lot of us here know that we need. It's like there are the barriers, right, that we constantly ignore that are very much systemic and microaggressive, right? We see them and experience them every like day. Like what in the U.S.? So, like what? Yeah, like what? what? Would you like to know an example of? Some I, I know you said you said that there is like barriers. I want to know what barriers in the U.S. today as a woman. Well, as a woman or as a woman of color, let's be specific. Oh my God, as a woman, as a woman, you're here to talk about feminism. You're not here to talk about disabled feminists. You're not here to talk about black feminists. We're just talking about feminism. We're talking about women as a whole. And this is this freaking divide, man. This divide with men and women, this divide between women, you need to be a certain type of feminist. And if you're not a feminist and you're a horrible person, you're a part of the patriarchy, misogyny, misogyny. Like, stop this freaking division, man. We're all people. Life is hard. Everybody has hurdles. Like, oh. Woman, I and we don't, woman. Well, no, I can't answer as a woman. I just, just feel like your woman, question is right? kind of hostile when you're like, oh my God. I don't, I, there are no barriers to what I want. Congratulations. That means you have the privilege where you're not facing any friction and that's I mean, showing. And I That means you have privilege, says a woman that's been invited onto a panel to talk about feminism with other women who have been invited to the panel to talk about feminism. In a video that's going to get heaps of likes heaps of people like me talking about it like if women are so we're, we're treated so terribly we're not a part of the conversation which is what that other woman said then why are you literally now having a conversation about feminism women are so lucky these days not only do women get paid as much money for doing the same work as a man like that the gender pay gap is so stupid we've gone over that but you know not only that but women get custody of the children more women are believed in a courtroom more like women make false allegations against men all the time and absolutely destroy that man's life like there are so many fantastic parts of being a woman so many privileged parts of being a woman that why are we not discussing 
how unfair that is like if we're really going to have a an honest conversation about feminism and what it means to be a feminist and what it means to be a woman we should talk about the struggles we have but we should also be honest about the privileges we have because whether you're disabled whether you're black whether you're white whether you're cis whether you're trans everybody has their own privilege i have things that other people don't have there are women who have things that i'll never have everybody has privilege like you need to be honest about how things are because otherwise people like me are never going to take you seriously because you're purposefully misleading you're purposefully leaving things out you're omitting things to make things seem way more dire than they are everybody has hurdles everybody has um privilege like just be grateful for what you have you could be dead like yes you have no legs and that's shitty but you could be dead you're also not black because apparently black is the the worst thing in the world to be these days the way they talk about it like you have so much look at you've got nice clothes you've got a lovely haircut you've got some earrings you, you seem pretty privileged to me and your privilege is different from other people there are people with no arms and no legs you know what i'm saying like I, I'm just so sick of this competition. Like, who's more oppressed? I, I need to be the biggest victim going. I'm more of a victim than you. Like, why do you want to be a victim? You're not facing any friction, and that's I mean, showing. Stop saying friction. I, like it's I, think like as an I think as an American, you're very privileged. Yeah. Like, I mean, I'm not ignoring that. Yeah, We're right. on, like, a so. basic level of what, I mean, the feminist movement is when it comes to just being born a woman right physically pound for pound we are born as women and we have less lean muscle mass than men so yeah. there are issues of violence and assault and stuff like that and so therefore there are policies there are things to help women physically like for example i believe being able to carry a firearm and being able to use that safely to defend yourself against men who are born against men naturally with more muscle mass than a woman but not against women women never kill women hey and are we going to ignore the fact that men get murdered substantially more than women? Ugh. Which barriers? Okay, Those barriers so... that you don't believe in. I agree you to have a bunch of ramps in your life. It doesn't do shit. I need those ramps, right? Can we stick to male versus female? That's that's my question. Yeah. So I, I'm thinking male versus female. But my so feminism my, so, includes so, ability. So, so, it includes so, race. My question is you guys can, can talk. Women can versus talk. men. Like, what, what barriers do we need removed? Because that, that's my statement. I'm not, I'm not stating anything else. I'm stating yeah. women versus men. It's very silly. Uh, like, so so what barrier? I just want to know. question is silly. Question. So, yes. yeah, but I, I'm it's saying, not a fair question. It's how hostile. is it not a fair question? It's kind of proving the point of why what people, especially black women, other people who are anybody. See? See? Do you see? She's all upset because we're not talking about disabled women. She immediately was like, oh, but what about black women? Like, oh my goodness. This is such a hard video for me to watch. This is not white why we hear feminism and we don't want that label because it means i'm just gonna say it means that like it means that you're you've already gone into a pinnacle of whatever you think your happiness needs or whatever your survivalist needs are when there are people on lower end who are trying to survive who are trying to get to a point of what should be normal um based on what other people have it sort of sounds like you're saying feminism is not always inclusive then right it is that a guy? That actually looks like a woman, but she sounds like a man. It, 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 it more times than not, it's it's not. So, and within the just feminism space, again, there obviously the very basic is male versus female versus, you know, but unfortunately, we've only had one subset of women be the face and voice and the academics and research and everything to be able to say, well, that's the standard we need to be in when there are other people who are still trying to get to some type of normalcy and just living. What is the biggest issue then that feminism faces? I think it's the mindset. Women taking like the agency, women taking initiative. I think it's mindset holding them back a lot because if yeah. you want to be in a competitive world and compete, you have to have the right mindset. And I think a lot of people blame their lack of confidence or what society tells them 
um, for the reason that they're not achieving what they need to achieve, when that's not the case. You have to have the mindset of achieving because the men who built the world had the mindset of building it. So the women who want to engage and build that further, they need to have that same mindset. I agree. I agree I with that. I think we do. I don't. I think it's like assuming that of we course. don't want to be capitalist babies. Right. I think that men are not well adjusted in the society, <laughs> and women are not trying to re-embody what they have built for us. Mm. You want to see? I can't make you new nose. I'm working. I study for new nose. I think that like what we're forgetting is a very important human respect and dignity yeah, that's and not asking people to prove what their experience is and to prove to you like it is like such conservative thinking to say like I don't understand explain it to me versus just saying I don't understand and let me respect what you are no, saying what I don't understand explain it to me and I don't understand let me respect one of those is bad what? <laughs> You're expecting right? wherever you starting point. I'm respecting that. I'm really respecting that. I'm saying that if you don't have the mindset you can even achieve it, you're never going to even try. So it's but never achieve what? Like what are we talking about? Achieve what you want to achieve, you woman. Oh my god. Like they rejected world. this like no, capitalist she... ideology on every woman. <sighs> Whatever it is you're looking for, equality, yeah. equity. But what I'm saying is women in the feminist space and a lot of these other spaces, we don't acknowledge that we have to take the initiative we have to take the action we have to have the mindset we have to demand those things i don't understand how we're getting so off topic this is about feminism feminism yeah. today whereas everybody wants to make this about their individual oh i hear all the the multitude of other things that factor into my person great this is about feminism yeah. it's about womanhood i understand that all of you have your own individual experiences and, and the other things that feed into you as a person that's perfectly fine but this is where intersectionality falls off the planet and loses i would argue probably Probably the vast majority of people including me I'm not even a feminist I don't give a crap about feminists arguing amongst themselves about who is yeah. victimized but this is annoying to listen to I honestly just I don't understand anything anybody's even trying to get at this is where we're gonna get to um, what I think the real feminist arguments are are based off of policy and abortion is the biggest one how many of you would identify as pro-choice let's do a show of hands for pro-choice I feel like pro-choice is pro-life. Of course. Though, yeah. yeah. Okay, and folks who identify as pro-life, why do you identify as each? You've gone from legal, safe, rare, to, yeah, I'm so proud, let me beatbox in front of the Planned Parenthood, yeah, I got murder on my mind. The yeah. fact that, that it's celebrated that, that murdering uh, children, especially uh, in late-term pregnancies, is yeah. celebrated that people are so proud of themselves from mutilating a fetus is just, yeah. it, it, it blows my mind. And I don't think that you need yeah. to be pro-life to even take that stand. And you said late-term pregnancy. Yes. A lot of abortions do not happen I made the distinction. Oh, I made the distinction right. specifically right. because yeah. lots of people still celebrate. There are people who when the laws were passed actually here in right. New York they, they said yes great yes I love the right, fact but that you need to ask about what are people celebrating right? why does she need to ask access. we're well, not well, celebrating okay. killing kids like that's that's but not what it why, is well, well so this right? is what I'm saying so, like, when, here's the thing when we're talking about access to reproductive health and to abortion rights right into being pro-choice listen that's your body you do you the child if is you not decide, your body no no the child is the child's body like mm, I, I hate this and the thing is, there are ways. If you don't want to have a baby, there are ways to stop that from happening. Abortion shouldn't even be something that you consider. And there are circumstances. Like, I'm very, I don't know. I don't know about things like the big R word, about incest, stuff like that. I understand that's a hard decision, but it's also a, a, a hard situation, sorry. But it's also not the child's fault, right? And if you don't want that child, have it give it to somebody who does want it like murdering a child should never like and this is the thing a lot of people say well what about if if the pregnancy is not viable and we're forced to keep it that's not how it is an abortion is terminating a viable fetus i don't think it ever is okay to terminate a viable fetus like if there are problems and the child is not viable okay that's a separate thing because that's not abortion but the child is it has its own heartbeat it's got its own fingernails and it's it there's so much about that child that you know already just from its like dna and 
it's such a beautiful beautiful thing and there are these women who just suck them like i just can't i, I can't believe anybody is, like celebrates that i i just can't a baby it's so scary for me to hear people calling like guns the biggest equalizer for women but taking their choices away from them at a policy level um why is that having a gun is an equalizer it is. having rights is an equalizer yeah, having a right. choice is right. an equalizer just like a gun right and in yeah. this country, <laughs> forms the birth policies control. that are pushed yeah. to want? continue perpetuating patriarchy <laughs> and anti-women um like taking the autonomy away from women it is heartbreaking to see women pushing that propaganda no, it's all brainwash like you oh, it, it, yeah what other people think is brainwashing but what you think is the right way you narcissistic arrogant shizen mm. Because you don't I agree think, with me. No, yeah, I, I yeah, I yeah. I have lived deeply institutionalized. Man, I, I have lived under I, Islam. Yeah, I'm not interested in any of that. Like, there's no, like, you know, it's for me. No, I'm not interested in, like, living, thinking that, like, women are doing this really bad thing. Like, in it my is. religion, abortion is actually allowed. If the woman needs it, she's allowed because, you know, it, it's very interesting how, like, fundamental america is like this fundamentalist is not, this is nothing to very, do with very very like even deep, religion this is a very basic thinking. scientific human right we're also talking about people not having access to abortion clinics where they're doing the things itself and they die no. right we're also talking well then about don't do it to yourself you dickhead women in the hospital who are pregnant who have chosen to stay with their pregnancy and have issues at hospitals and hospitals that are like oh no we don't do that I was planning on watching it to like the 20 minute mark, 23 minute mark, but I'm getting too heated. Um, so I'm going to have to end the video there, you guys. But this was part one. Um, let me know if you want to see part two, two. Part two? Let me know if you want to see part two in the comments down below. Let me know what you think about this video. If you like it, please subscribe to the channel. This what means the absolute world to me. We also have channel memberships, which is another fantastic way to support the channel. But whichever way you do choose to support me, just know that it means the absolute world to me. All right, you guys, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.